Hello folks, uh, this has gone spy. The spy will come to you live with Star Wars that's for public the Sith Lords. Now, from the last uh, of the video is that we've repelled the Sith invasion of Telos and defeated Darth Nihilus, uh, Vesas' master. And now uh, we've already uh, made our course uh, to uh, Malcor 5 already uh, and for reasons is because I'll give you the brief run. Short version is that uh, Kreia is the mastermind and known as Darth Treya, the Sith Lord, and one of the leaders that leads a different factions of Sith. Now, her reasons of why she's doing this is completely different from how Darth Nihilus and Darth Sion or any other Sith is doing. Because for some reason, she not only hates Jedi, but also the Civ or any others that has Force-sensitive abilities that's connected to the Force. So whether or not be Jedi or not, is that half of trillions of people in the galaxy are in danger because she, as we speak, is at the heart of the core of Malkor V, creating a powerful echo, then than how it was made in the end of the Mandalorian Wars. So right now, my, me and Arthur are known as the Jedi Exile is going to be, is going to be doing this on our own because we've crash landed on Malcor 5 because for some reason, reason the instruments are, haven't been exactly been functioning. In the process, I think, I, my companions have been scattered around this planet. Now, I can't exactly be worrying about them, because uh, if I wait too long, then Kreia is going to succeed, and if she believes that we're not even here, or that we're not coming, she will kill herself, because if she dies, then I die, because of the force spawn that she and the character the EXO has, and besides, the companions uh, that we've traveled with will be able to take care of themselves, as we would take care of ourselves here, and why we must do this on our own. I don't know what exactly is on this uh, damn asteroid, but I have a feeling we'll be able to find out uh, as we travel. So right now, let's get move on. Arben Hawk. I'll be right back, sweetheart. All right. Let us go. This place is filled with a great darkness of evil, of a sickness here. A sickness that had almost killed Arthur Arg had he not cut himself off from the Force as we have learned from the Council. And among many other things. Gas mines. Breath control. Immune to poison. What the hell? What the hell is that thing? A storm beast? I think it's a lot stronger than it looks. I should have realized that there are going to be other individual, uh, different creatures that lives on this uh, damn rock.
I wonder what this console is about. More Storm Beast. Two of them this time. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. A tower style? Aggression mode? Was that a force mind scream? These things are the dark side of the force. Force channel, force uh, damage double, and force points uh, regeneration. I'll need to have a map to know where I'm going. Beast trick. Force lightning. There has still been recent people here that's been on this asteroid. Well, when we came upon the space of this asteroid, there were a lot of downed, uh, savage, destruction ships. Some of them were ancient, like ones from the Mandalorian Wars. Reminds me of this of that planet that has gone spy Revan visit upon that's near the Star Forge about the planet uh, that Carf tells us about. Hmm, that's an interesting crystal. Alright, before we search the area. I need to continue moving on. Cannot help but wonder if this, if Assassin's a dark Jedi that's been sent out to us during th this journey, have all came from Malkor 5. Which I no doubt it might have been the case. Foresight? 
This piece is a neutral one. And yet he was able to use that uh, Master Force Scream uh, so effectively. Force Valor. Force Resistance. Force Enlightenment. Breath Control. Force Lightning. Just about had enough of these creatures. That's a bridge. Hmm. I better save this uh, just in case. Crystal must have been a Jedi. Look at her and look what I've done. All this is my fault. My only concern right now is to make sure and hope that my, my friends that I came with me on that ship is alive and well and that they will be able to handle themselves against such creatures. If these storm beasts uh, have these this much uh, of abilities and this powerful, then my companions will have trouble against these things on their own. But we face things far worse than these creatures, so I hope and pray that they will be able to be all right against such creatures. But I have the feeling that they couldn't be the only things on this planet. Sion. Of course, apprentice. Conscious has been the exile. Mira? He has a special talent for finding that which should remain lost. It also makes her difficult for me to sense, but not to a creature bred for such things. Shall I send the assassins for her? No, I have brought a beast to Malachor to deal with that one. If she survives, she will become stronger for it. Beast? Mira, she's all right. <laughs> Don't worry, Mira. Once we finished here, we'll go to a vacation of the beach. Hanar. Some for some of you that's new here, Hanar is uh, is different than most spookies. He's a bounty hunter uh, that uh, that bred that is bred to kill things, uh, and that's like an abomination predator, an apex predator, 
that kills his own clan, escapes from the Circa Corporation, and has made a profit for having humans as slaves and destroyed some planets. He and Mira had a history with each other, and Mira told me that Honor can only be able to show up at the worst possible time, and this must be one of these times, but... Of course. Back in Narshada, Kreia wanted to uh, had saved Hanar and wanted to bring him to a place where he, which he will test him uh, to survive in such an environment. Malkor Fine must have been the place. Damn it! I can't focus on worrying about Amira right now. I just hope that Amira can be able to deal with Hanar. I don't know exactly how much strain that Hanar was able to get uh, from being on Malkor 5 for so long. Mira was able to beat him twice before, once at when she was on her own, and a second time when she was trying to save me from the bounty hunters, from Visquus and Gotome. I just hope she can be able to deal with him as a Jedi. Wait, I'm not too far of the area. <laughs> Board them. Dealing with two of them is a lot harder than dealing with a single one. They're like a buffalo, so mixed with rhinoceros being in a gorilla. Or like dinosaurs, mostly. This is the area. Damn it, I just missed Mirror too. She must have fallen down here from the Oven Hawk. Ferocity style, Juyo against a single opponent. Another damage control. Great. Beast trick for stasis. I need to gain closer to use it.
Alright. I think uh, Okay. I think that area leads to the next area point. Bira, Handmaid, everyone, take care. I'm going forward now. Down to the depths of Malcorn. I knew it. Like there's a Jedi Academy uh, for teaching the ways of the light side. There are academies that teaches the Sith uh, the ways of the dark side. Not just one, not just the one I'm back on Korriban, but here as well. I should have known. Damn it! Which would explain a great deal of how many uh, for how Sith assassins are being well procured. Now, I'm going to have to put a stop here to after these messages, folks. So this has gone spy, the spy, sign off for now.